Look, we're not talking about Todd and me here. And even if we were, I don't know, I mean, it's different. We've been married, we have kids, so I kind of feel like it's my responsibility to check into anybody who could possibly turn into my kid's stepmom. You're talking about Ted. No secret how I feel about her. And I would do anything to protect my children from that witch. So that's what all this is about? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's got nothing to do with how you feel about Todd. What about your feelings for Layla? Come on, isn't that the real reason you want to outfish? So what, are you trying to tell me that you and Layla had sex? Well, I wasn't exactly planning on telling the whole gym, but yeah, it was good. It felt right. So you have sex with one girl and then all of a sudden, poof, you're not gay? It's not like she's the first girl that I ever slept with. But you know what? I'm hoping that she'll be the last. Meaning? Meaning that I told Layla that I could see a future with her. And so I thought that you should know that nothing could ever happen between you and me. And, and so you can move on. Are we cool? You, you tell me that, that our relationship, the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life, by the way, was, was what? A layover for you? And then you ask me if we're cool? No, we're not cool. Okay, I, I didn't mean for it to sound that oh, the, way. Why, why, do you, why do you care? I mean, our relationship wasn't real, right? So obviously my feelings don't matter. Oh, come on. I didn't say that. Right oh, I guess I imagine all those times you get drunk and crawl into my bed then confused, huh? Keep it down. Is this better? Now you don't have to worry about people finding out about how you'd get drunk and, and cry in my arms, laying in bed late at night, terrified about what you'd do if your parents found out. I don't remember that. I guess you don't remember telling me you loved me, huh? How could you? You were confused. Yes, I was. How many times do I have to say that? I don't care that? how many times you tell me or what you do with Layla. Okay? It, it doesn't matter to me because I know you. And when I kissed you the other day, you kissed me back. You know, the longer we wait to tell Clint, the less like nothing it seems. So we should just keep it to ourselves for Clint's sake? Hey, you look very nice. Thanks. Uh, have you seen Taya? Yeah, she's in with our lawyer. Guess we should go in there, too. Um, yeah, hold up. Um, Matthew, we, we want to talk to you, clear something up. Of course, if the information I have is wrong, then you've got nothing to worry about. Why'd you run it by me? Oh, no, no, no. No, not the information about you. That, that's rock solid. It's possible that I could be wrong about Todd Manning. Maybe he's not the jealous, paranoid, sociopathic son of a bitch people make him out to be. What do you think? Uh, yeah. How you doing? I'm, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm not too shabby. Uh, sitting here with Jackson. He just gave me his blessing to go for it with you. Oh, that's great. Got a couple other irons in the fire, so hopefully you have some more good news later on. I uh, can't wait. Who is that, Todd? Let me say hi. Who's that? No one. Uh, the judge is on her way in, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Well, sir, uh, let's go. Drop you off at Dorian's. Great. What do you say, counselor? You ready to play ball? Okay, I admit it. I made a lot of mistakes. And yet you keep making them. Well, I'm going to fix everything. Great. Start by telling me about my dad. Anything? Anything at all? I thought so. Listen, I tried to explain... Don't bother. I know that you're never going to tell me the truth about him. Good news, you don't have to sweat it anymore. I'm over it. So you don't want to know? No, I want to know. I need to know. I just don't want to be lied to anymore. Rex wants nothing to do with me. If it weren't for the baby that I don't have, he wouldn't even look at me anymore. How'd you get him to look at you before? Right, right. The pretend donor thing. I mean, even if I could get him back, I'd have to be pregnant like yesterday. So we find another guy. There are billions of them out there. Any one of them would love a shot at you. <laughs> I am so not having unprotected sex with billions of random guys. It's the only way you're going to get Rex back. So, uh... wait. I've got it. We've totally been overthinking this. 
We have? Okay, you're a friendly girl. You have to bet someone in this town you can trust with our little project, right? Yeah, I guess. Great. We'll make a list. I love lists. Who else do you know besides Rex? Well, there's Skylar. It's okay, Shane. I have a couple minutes. How's day camp? That sounds fun. Maybe she pushed you into the lake because she likes you. It's not stupid. Sometimes girls and boys do that when they like each other.